At any rate, let's get to the last segment of the show, which is still about uh, Cardi Kanye talking about she's an industry plant that actually happens to go hand in hand and good for my segment of. <laughs> All right, so let's add this to the stage. That's why, that's why fucking Cardi B was over there. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. She don't write her raps. She's just there to like sound as ignorant as possible and just and then make songs like fuck them and they get some money. Yeah. You know, she just literally replaced, you know, Nicki Minaj purposely that they put her there and that she doesn't know what to do. And she's just a fucking, she has no idea what the fuck is going on. She thinks it's just a blessing from the universe. There ain't no blessing from the fucking universe. You know? Okay, so before I go to the last and final clip, I just want to say this. <laughs> This is where I have to poke holes in all of this. Number one, this whole leak thing. We know it was done purposely and who's behind it. Um, number two, this whole thing that she's an industry plant because of the vulgar vulgarity of the, the music. Female rap has been vulgar for a long time. Lil' Kim was vulgar. Foxy Brown was vulgar. Nicki Minaj's name is vulgar. It's Nicki Minaj. Would Minaj be for Minaj a trois or is it something else? Let me know. Even if it's something else, it's still suggestive. So maybe this name has a double meaning. Okay. Um, I'm not saying that she wasn't there to replace Nicki. I'm not saying none of that. I'm not disagreeing with what he's saying, but I'm just saying like, <sighs> I tell you what. Nicki Minaj is no Pentecostal rapper, okay? She's not from the, the pulpit of the Baptist church. <laughs> what are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, she's still trying to hang with, with the nieces at her age. She's I, And I'm not saying, listen, I'm definitely not one of them type that feel like if you are married with a child, you should just lay over and die. Go get you a cane. And some, you know what I'm saying? And them thick ass shoes with the, the with the soles as thick as hell at the bottom. I'm not saying you should go put on your orthopedic shoes. But what I am saying is she's definitely not a mother of the church. So we're not going to act like Cardi just came out of nowhere. Like she's the most vulgar thing we ever seen. And uh, female rap hasn't been unhinged for a long damn time. Okay, wait, wait, let's talk about Trina. Ain't nothing more ridiculous. Do I have to put on? I can't because I get a copyright. But what about Trina and Trick song? You don't know, Nan? That is that not? I mean, WAP. I'm sorry. WAP still ain't contending with Nan. <laughs> and, and that was a long time ago. So I just feel like how quickly we forget. I, you know. I just can't get with just saying stuff to be saying stuff. This is no knock at Kanye whatsoever. I respect Kanye. You know, I feel like um, Cardi's husband, you know, he be tripping, but we love Ye. <laughs> like he said in a do anything for clout song. I, I definitely agree. Ye be tripping, but we love him. And um, I respect him. But just because... I respect him or what have you does not mean I have to agree with everything he says. And in that instance, I just felt that it was important to point that out. So with that being said, I'm going to add in the last and final clip with uh, the breakfast club responding to this whole ordeal with her being industry plant. Um, what's, what's the, uh, what's that dude's name? Bird man. Yeah. He has something to say, Birdman. That bird, that's something. That Birdman. Anyway, let me put up the clip. The rumor report. I knew I can talk my <laughs> on the Breakfast Club. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'm in my mental health process, but I am cocked and loaded. <laughs> Yo, Cardi B is getting support from somebody that none of us would have seen coming, and that's Birdman. Mm. Uh, Birdman hopped on a, a clubhouse yesterday with WAC 100, and he's reacting to Kanye West claiming that Cardi B was an industry plant uh, sent to replace Nicki Minaj. Now, last week, a clip of Kanye West's unreleased documentary surfaced, and I'm sure the Kardashians are behind that. 
And in it, uh, he called Cardi B an industry plan. If you missed it, here's what Not Kanye said. Yes, Cardi CIA. Like, he didn't even have to say it. I know it. He's Illuminati. That's why Cardi B was over there. Cardi B is a plant by the Illuminati. She don't write her raps. She just there to, like, sound as ignorant as possible. And just, and then make songs like and they get some money. You know, she was literally replaced, you know, Nicki Minaj purposely. That they put her there. And now she doesn't know what to do. Okay. And she's just a f***ing... She has no idea what the f*** is going on. She thinks it's just a blessing from the universe. <laughs> a no blessing from the universe. universe. Oh, now, what he, what he was referencing was a time where I actually took Cardi over to Kris Jenner's house to meet her. And then mm -hmm. Kim and uh, Kanye came over and we all had guacamole and drinks. And... So you CIA too? And you in the Illuminati, Jason? I, I, hey, Jesus. listen, I've been waiting on the Illuminati to call me. They, the, the, their phone lines might be down like yours. Mm. We my fellow Leo, Jason Lee, is something else, okay? Now he over there setting the record straight. And they like, you part of the Illuminati too? Like, they don't even call me. I heard that. Leo. Too bad Leo season is over because that's when the weather is good. Anywho. In that in that meeting, it was interesting because Kanye was telling Cardi how he, she was his hero because every time she said something, the world praised her. But every time he said something, he was canceled. And then to say you no know, later in this a documentary that we didn't even know was being filmed that she was a plant was interesting. Well, then uh, Cardi had caught wind of this and posted on her Instagram a part of a conversation I had with Ye on my last podcast, and this is what he said. Cousins were saying, "Come by here yesterday, but I was finishing." You're working. I was finishing that verse for your girl. You know what I mean? Like I always believed in her since since she was on the show. Period. It's kind of sad when people use your own words and your own voice against you, right? Yeah, we all know that rant was nonsense. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, that clapback was dope. But for the sake of conversation, we can discuss it. But <laughs> like, do, do I believe. I don't believe everything is a blessing from God. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I, I know Satan got a kingdom too. Correct. But saying a rapper is an industry plant because of the content of their music, especially when the content of their music is about girls sleeping with dudes for money, then damn near every rapper in the industry must be a plant then. Because the glorification of the drug culture, gang culture, murder, disrespect of women, sounds to me like they all plants pushing uh, negative content and a negative agenda. But let me ask you okay. a question. Somebody we know uh, at times is not mentally well, and they have outbursts like this, and, and people pre and people post it. Don't we know if he's probably not mentally well, mentally well at that time? It's not saying at that time, especially if he says one thing with Jason Lee when it's on camera, and he says another thing behind the scenes when he's on the phone. You know I what I mean? People are human too, and people when they're when they're upset. Like, he might have been upset that he wasn't at the function that y'all was having at Christmas. How about everything is not mental illness? How about he knew there was a camera on him? How about he knew he would say something for it to, for shock value? How about he's a businessman and he knows what to do? While we sitting around coming up with theories and scratching our head, how about this is exactly why he said what he said, and he probably meant what he said, <laughs> when he was talking to Jason Lee, because at the end of the day, Kanye is in this to make money. And while we sitting up talking about it's crazy, guess what it gets? It gets clicks, it gets attention, and it works. I'm just saying. He came. He came over. He came. He just he said was he came. there, and he listening. sat right across from you don't me. Be listening. He said they ate guac. I, I was, didn't hear him I was say right that part. here. Cardi was right here. Ye and Kim was right here. Chris and Corey's right here. And he was saying to her, "You're my hero because you can." Oh. You know, he was basically building her up. And the crazy part is, I, what I really think is happening is Ye is in the middle of so many lawsuits right now. He probably didn't pay the person who shot that, and they probably are just putting out all these clips. That, that's what I think is. Yeah, happening. I really don't be listening because I really don't be caring. We know ninety-five percent of this stuff. But also, Nicki Minaj didn't get replaced by Cardi either. Mm -hmm. They both out here. Uh, Nicki Minaj got coexisted. replaced by Nicki Minaj. Now, what happened was... Nicki <laughs> hasn't been replaced, man. Nicki's still here. Okay. Cardi caught wind of... Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, got <laughs> Cardi caught wind of all that and posted I love that. But, Jason you know, she Lee. Okay. Had just been, she's been harassed since she came out the gate, and she is tired of it and basically has warned everybody that she has receipts, and this is what she said. I've been trying not to disappoint my fans because I've been trying to, I've been trying to like be Cardi B, the professional... But Belkali's the demon, it'd be really close to come out. And I don't want that because I don't want to disappoint my fans. I'm going to just say this. People love Cinderella to Cinderella get a glass house. And let me keep it cute. Cinderella and to my house? haters and glass to y'all motherfuckers that want to see mess, leave me the fuck alone. Because I come with receipts. I come with receipts. Years old receipts. I got receipts on all you and you 
and I will <laughs> bring this internet into shambles. You don't even know. All she needed to say is King Kong don't have shit on me. Okay, she needed to drop that line, like Denzel. Yeah, keep them receipts, baby, because you need them in that industry because people are shady, okay? And it's good to pull people with the hypocrisy rub. Pull the hypocrisy rub right from up under their ass. Get them tripped up. I want to know about Cinderella in this glass house. Well, she, she had, had a glass house, glass shoes. I, she, think. I remember glass the glass slippers. slippers. Mm -hmm. She had a glass slipper, but this Cinderella story, she's been able to build the whole glass house. Meaning her whole life, it's not like she just got the one slipper and then she went and got the or whatever that guy was she got the whole thing sad, sad thing about cardi b is i've known cardi b a long time before she was famous when she yeah. was working at the strip clubs and she was hosting the strip clubs and cardi b has always been a good person yeah like a good person uh before the fame after the fame just a down-to-earth good person so when i see her get attacked for some of the things that she said Cardi B wasn't expecting this fame. That's because you on Cardi payroll. I'm not on. No, don't, don't no, say that. no, no. I I'm Cardi B unlocked. Both y'all on I'm Cardi, Cardi B payroll. unlocked. That, like, I'm Cardi B unlocked. Yeah, Cardi B unlocked. But it's the truth about Cardi B, and, and you would you would say the same. We've known Cardi before. Don't tell fame. me I'm on Cardi's payroll. You are. Can I say this? Can you I say are. This? Because I know Mike Kaiser's listening. Atlantic X. Wow, you just gonna put the plug out there. You don't even care, Jason. Now you really okay. gonna fuel the internet. Ju Julie Greenwald, let me put wow. her out there. Drop a bomb. Drop a bomb. Oh, okay. Wow. They, they actually pay, internet, you caught us. They actually pay the least. Matter of fact let's put that out there in terms of marketing and they should be paying money but anyway that's just my own rant you what? talked about the things that we're mad about what you said okay well, well listen listen I gotta put this out there. Bird, I'm Bird, out birdman here. birdman went on clubhouse and this is what he had to say about this all i don't i don't really um pass judgment on other people things no nah, that's not my thing no disrespect to nobody it's just not my thing i never saw it and if, if i did see it i would never pass judgment on that because i don't believe in downplaying people in the music industry and no kind of way because if you in this shit, you know how hard it is if you in this shit, you know how real it is that's right if you in this shit, you know that dying this shit. Mm -hmm. cardi got it out the mud she did nikki got it out the mud she did you kanye got it out the mud we all in kanye this room did. got it out the mud absolutely <laughs> for real I got it out the blood, <laughs> Illuminati. I'm just playing with y'all. The blood of Jesus. But I think I think the that's, blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. That's what I'm talking about. All praise is due to God. But I think See, that's there. We go, Jason. Now I think we that's talking. a big deal though for Birdman to come out and say that and and to just validate the hard work that we all know Cardi's mm -hmm. put in, that Nicki's put in. We it's, saw it. Yeah, By the way, we saw it with both of them. Absolutely. Nicki and Cardi. Thousand percent. From Bird, the ground up. Birdman might be the bridge to bringing them together. That'd be fantastic. That would I'm be sick, great. I'm sick of all y'all niggas at yeah. this point. I'm going to be honest with you. Because, yeah, like you said, their grind was like no other. New York didn't F with Nicki at first, and Nicki had to get it out the mud, and I, Cardi B was the same. I saw it all from the beginning. Absolutely, both of them. Both of them. All right, well, that is your rumor report. When we come back, we got front page news, and then Rich Paul will be joining us. His new book, Lucky Me, is out today. We're going to... So that's enough. He said what he goes. So I guess that goes right back to my initial statement. There's people literally dying in Israel. There's people running in terror for their lives, trying to keep their children safe. There is mothers that don't know where their sons are. It's all type of stuff going on. And when they get done with all of this, they have to look at that ruin for how long we do not know as a reminder of this nightmare that they had to go through. Meanwhile, we're worried about Kanye talking about if Cardi is an industry plant. Welcome to America, the United Snakes, allegedly, of America, where allegedly some of the most heinous crimes, the powers that be are on in it you know they have a vested interest in it allegedly and everybody else is the problem welcome to the country where we throw rocks and hide our hands welcome and the citizens are preoccupied with nonsense and hell i talk about it too because that's our culture that's our society, and my channel has to be, this channel happens to be about culture and society. So get those likes up for me, people. Thank you. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel at Porch Talk. Also, 
subscribe to my Rocky Road TV channel. That's R-A-C-Q-I Road TV. If you're watching me on TikTok, the link is in my bio for you to be able to follow it. If you're watching me currently on YouTube, just hit the subscribe and the like button. I appreciate you guys and love you guys. Tomorrow, I'll be going live on the Rocky Road TV YouTube channel. And um, we will be talking about, let me see what the title is. Hold on one second. I can actually tell you what it is. It's definitely, um, it's you have to choose yourself and love yourself and give yourself grace. That's going to be the topic of tomorrow. So please join me tomorrow. It'll be around this time. Um, if I'm filming that other, I've got another podcast with someone I, I've known since middle school, a family friend of mine. He and I are filming a show together at his barber shop. If we happen to film tomorrow, I know I'm not going to get home till after probably 10 o'clock or close to it. So, yeah, I'll probably be going live around this time. And I, I just feel like it's a better time to go live this late. You know what I'm saying? It seems like you guys are more responsive. Probably the kids are asleep or whatever. I get it. I'm a parent myself. So I'm in the basement. I'll be having this road on because I'd be cold, y'all. And hell, it's the night show. I mean, what I'm about to wear. I'm not about to wear a ball gown, baby. I'm at home in my basement. I'm going to be comfortable. We ain't doing shit, but talking shit anyway. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Hey, you, let's keep in touch. Head on over to RockyRollTV.com slash network. And when you arrive to the page, scroll on down to the prompt to lead you to subscribe to my newsletter. Enter your email, first name, last name, hit subscribe. This first button leads you to Rocky Road TV, and the second one leads you to Porch Talk. Sign up to be a guest on Candid Stories of My Soul or the Black Love group chat with this form. Here's how to get to Rocky Road TV YouTube channel through the browser and how to get to Porch Talk YouTube channel from the browser. Yes, these are both of my YouTube channels. Please subscribe to both of them. Until next time, toodles! Hey friend, you can now join my Patreon for free. The link is provided below.